the label. Yeah. Hey, aloha. How you doing today? Welcome to Hibachi Talk. My name is Andrew, the, Andrew, the security guy. And unfortunately, we do not have a Gordo the Texar here today, but he will be with us in a moment. I'll show you why. We've got a couple of our international fans with us as well. They're going to be on the show today. And we're going to be talking a little bit about UH football, UH in Michigan. We're going to be bringing these guys in live from Michigan um, <laughs> by a miracle of Skype, which I'm sure many of you have used and many of you played with. And, um, so, and I think we're even going to have, possibly, Angus. So let's see what we got. Where's my crew? Okay. Are we going to get a Zoom shot? Hey, guys, how you doing out there? Hey, Aloha. Right on. So there's the Texar. How you doing, Gordo? How's it, how's it to be on another, another time zone about 15 hours away from your one last weekend? I know. I have, I have no idea now where I am and what I'm doing. And then I, I, I run into these two international. Is that, what well, was that from the beer or just from the traveling? <laughs> so give us, give us, go ahead and give us some introductions to our, our I know you guys uh, tune into quite a few of our shows. Uh, okay, well you, that's true, you see them all the time. So you got Ivor McForklift here. Nice, Ivor, welcome. Welcome to Hibachi Talk, glad to have you. Glad to be here. And then we got uh, Hamish McGullible, he was one of our first all-time viewers. Right on, Hamish, how are you today, sir? How you doing? Right, man, very well. Glad, glad to have you on Hibachi Talk. What's the, who's lurking in the background there? What's the deal with that? Lurk in the back. No, that's actually lurk. That's, that's number four. Okay. So, so, so it's you, you are the three musketeers, and that's number four. And that's yeah. number four because there was like one, Gordon, Ivor, Hamish, and then the, my parents had another one, and they couldn't think of any other name, so they were like, "Well, four is good." So number. Oh, four. okay, another brother from an, like, from the same mother. Yeah, he's kind of like the half brother. All right, fair enough. <laughs> He's the brother we didn't want to have. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, so you guys have joined up. So now, did you take a lot of a lot of other family up for the game, or what's the deal? I, I didn't. They all drove down. I'll let them tell you how they got here. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? Yeah, we uh, we drove down from good old T.O. Where's T.O.? They don't know what T.O. Oh, that's T.O. Toronto. We drove down from Toronto in Canada. Okay. Picked up uh, picked up number uh, Hamish here. Grabbed uh, number four, hooked up, drove down some big highway, <laughs> across some big border. <laughs> and our better has got stopped and, at and, the border. And we got through, but the ladies got stopped. I don't know why, but they got pulled over. But other than that, was a great trip down here. <laughs> nice. How long, how long of a drive was it? Uh, four and a half hours. Wow. Okay. Uh, and so... So you guys are living in Toronto. Did did all of you grow up in Toronto? Well, you never ever grew up, but yeah, I guess technically. <laughs> <laughs> so did y'all grow older in Toronto? Maybe I should have asked. Yeah, we all kind of hung so out. We all hung out. We hung out together for a number of years before we all got kicked out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Age okay. of majority, you're gone. Okay. Did you but, guys? But which was the oldest? Are you? I don't. I, how would I know? I'm asking you. What do you think? Who do you think's the oldest? Number four. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to like you. <laughs> By virtue of being number four, he's probably fourth. Is that right? <laughs> Good answer. So let's go with uh, Hamish. Hey, oh, I'm the only non-senior in the group. That's right. <laughs> I just Every, thought we'd bring yeah. that up. The other, two, the other two guys are already on retirement money, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Retired. 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 E. 18 years. Retired. Nice. And I tried trying to be retired. Things still ain't working. So Well, that's how you get to take all these big trips. So did you were you guys always big football fans? Let's let's talk about football a little bit. Oh yeah. yeah. Always yeah. football fans. Growing up? What did what did you who was your what were the teams growing up up there? Because you guys were in, in, in northern Canada or were you near Toronto or well, I don't even know. Did they have when did they have Canadian football? When did that start? Yeah, we, we got the uh, CFL. Yeah. Not the same as the NFL. Probably not as big or as Different popular. letters that we use up here. Oh, yeah. Well, when did it start? Like in the 70s or the, the 50s? 1901. Yeah, it's been around a long How time. How long? Yes, we're older than the NFL. 1901. Yeah. Seriously? Okay, yeah. wow. So you, guys have been so you guys have been big football fans for a while. Do you follow UH football, typically? We do, we NFL is bigger than CFL, even in Canada. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. What about the University of Hawaii? Are they big up there? 
all really big. <laughs> <laughs> in our circle, anyway. Yeah, in this group, they're huge. huge. <laughs> yeah, so you, that, and um, I don't recall, you guys, did you guys make a trip to the Ohio game last year as well? We did. We sure did. I didn't. I couldn't make it last year, but yeah, we were right there. On. So, so you, guys are, so yeah, you guys are pretty big, big fans big, then. Same, same I like that. So I know you're fans of football. What about fans of Hibachi Talk? We got a tweet come in here. How, how many episodes of Hibachi Talk have you guys seen? 83. <laughs> That's more than I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, except for this one. I don't know whether I'll watch this one. <laughs> what about the... Uh, what about the... Uh, um, what about the Ohio game last year? How, how was that for you guys to make that trip and, and uh, you know, watch UH out there? Was Corey, did Corey play? I don't remember if Corey was out on the field or not. Yes, Corey yeah. played. Sure did. Okay, he right did. on. Played well, too. Yeah, he's going to be a big part of the game tomorrow as well as he was last week. So that's good. That's good you guys are up there supporting like that. I think it's, just, I think it's powerful for the players and powerful for the team. Yeah, we ran into uh, this morning at breakfast, we ran into a bunch of people from Hawaii. Okay. Who are here for the game. They actually came in from... Actually, the ones I met today who are staying at our hotel um, were at the uh, Australia game. Really? Okay, that's so awesome. They've made, they've made the journey as well. Nice. And were they also lost? Uh, yeah, they're <laughs> also lost. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how often do you guys get to get together? Not, not as often as, as we would like, Andrew, yeah. but, you know... Uh, the seven years now with the was. football it's been last year and this year which has been great yeah because yeah. i met i met you guys you were out, i remember for gordo's what 60th oh yeah, yeah. right that was, that was nine years ago and that was tw <laughs> that was 20 years ago how long ago was it <laughs> seven years ago that's nine years ago oh well, metric you guys trying to put numbers on it's already. nine and yeah. metric we had to convert it to canadian <laughs> yeah. metric numbers yeah. well with Cor i'm thinking with Corey playing they may have to come out to may have to come out for a home game you know, I, oh. yeah. Well, yeah. every has to be this year because this is Corey's yeah. last year. That's what I was thinking. You know, they they're going to get cold enough up there soon enough, right? Is what it, is it you yeah. want? What is it you want, Barb? Probably next week. <laughs> Someone's coming in the room trying to be quiet. Barb, what do you want? You carving need, board. She needs a carving board. Can yeah. you get Barb a carving sandwiches for tomorrow's? We're making lunch for. We're tomorrow. making lunch for tomorrow's um, tailgate. Okay. So. All right. Good. Andy. That's Andy. Yeah, Andy. Hi, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> What what uh what are you what are you guys gonna are you gonna take it to the game with you? Yeah. What are, what are you making? Oh, oh, the that. ladies do that. We we just yeah. eat. We just eat. <laughs> oh, so you're not picky. Eaters. We got your basic ham and cheese. Peanut butter. We, we and got jam. your basic Canadian peanut butter and jelly. You know, all the good stuff. That's how they tailgate up there. Yeah. No, we don't tailgate up in Canada. Cause not allowed. You're not allowed to have fun in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's Canada. We're polite. We don't party. All right, all right. So, you, so, so you guys are gonna go. How, what, how early will you go head over there? Are you, are you far away from the stadium? Let me ask you that. About a half hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we have to be there at six in the morning. Six in the morning. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What time is the game? Noon. Uh, noon. Noon. noon um, our time, which is going to be six, six in the morning, morning your time. So why? Why are you going at 6 a.m.? Because to get parking, you got to get. They start early at the University of Michigan, apparently. I see. And and so, so are the liquor stores open then? <laughs> <laughs> or do you have to stock up at night. Already covered, Andrew. <laughs> Already covered. I see. All right. Well, I'm glad you got your priorities straight. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are thinking about all those things in advance. Yeah, we've got the water and the pop. Everything's good. Pop. Yeah, water it's, and pop. But soda, soda. Sorry. Yeah, they they don't sorry. Don't it, it's, it's, it's soda. It's pop. Is it a garage or a garage? It's a garage. So <laughs> who's a, you got it right. Okay, it's a garage. So, so who, whose idea was it for all you guys to get together at this game? My idea. idea. It was Hamish's idea. Yeah. And did you plan it since last year, since the Ohio game? Was that the was that the motivation, or was it just? Uh, Gordo was going to be close enough you could get your arms around his neck, so you thought you might as well come on down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, we, we, we had a text message going, you're going, you're not going. How many? Okay, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> so I, I went from, from this, we got 14 people. Wow, so who, who makes all the, are y'all all in the same room then? Oh, right now, yeah. but we ain't going to keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> we're close, but we're not that close. <laughs> 
<laughs> we spent 18 years in this same <laughs> room. Is 18? that right? You guys had what, two, two bunk beds or you just all slept in one bed? Oh no. One set of bunk beds and Gord was in a princess bed. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that loud, did I? Nice. No, I didn't say that loud. Yeah, he had a lovely princess bed. Yeah, beautiful white 18 bed. years in the same bedroom. It was fabulous. Right on. That's a, that's a good way to grow up, though. I mean, that's the way most people in that generation did it anyway, right? You didn't have a, it wasn't a room for every kid and all that nonsense. I slept with three other brothers, so. You did? Yeah, we had 12 kids. How come we didn't know we had these other brothers? Yeah, I told you. Was one of them named Ugly? <laughs> See, your, your family's growing before your very eyes. <laughs> I grew up on the East Coast, so they had big families back then. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, we're going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break, and we're going to pay a few bills. And uh, it only takes about a minute, so don't. if you need a beer or something, get it now. And then uh, yeah. we'll be back shortly. And I'll go get Angus because I need a break. I've had enough of these guys. Thanks, brother. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage, which is on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock here on Think Tech. On Center Stage, I talk with artists about not only what they do and how they do it, but the meat of the conversation for me is why they do it, why we go through this. A lot of us are not making our livings doing this, and a lot of us would do this with our last dying breath if we had that choice. And that's what I love to talk to people about. I hope you enjoy watching it, and I hope you get inspired because there's an artist inside you, too. Join us on Center Stage at 2 o'clock on Wednesdays. Bye. Hello, and I'm Patrick Bratton. Please join me for Global Connections every Thursday at 1 p.m., where we talk with a variety of guests about various international uh, issues, historical issues, both here in Hawaii and abroad, range from security, human rights, ethics, and all sorts of other things. So please join me. I look forward to talking with you and seeing some of my guests. Aloha! This is Rez McJackal. The University of Hawaii football team under Rolovich is going to kick butt this season. In case you didn't understand me, University of Hawaii football team is going to kick butt under Rolovich this season. So be sure to follow us on Think Tech Hawaii and Hibachi Top. I'll be at every game. And remember, aloha! We're, we're back. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for coming back to Hibachi Talk. I'm Andrew, the security guy. Uh, we're talking with Hamish McGullible, Ivor Rick Forklift, and, of course, your host who's normally in the studio, the techs are Gordon Bruce. They're all up at uh, in Michigan getting ready for the UH game tomorrow. We've got them Skyped in today and uh, I think we might get an Angus appearance in this episode. Yes, there he is accompanying... Hey, Angus, how you doing, buddy? Hey, it's great to see you, man. I miss you. Yeah, no, you're, you're not, you haven't been in your seat for weeks over here. It's been a long time. It's so, been a long time, lad. We gotta get together one day when I we, when I find my way back. Yeah, are you are you keeping them guys straight, or are they keeping you straight? Cause I know how you are when you travel. You're a lot of trouble. I, I, oh yeah, I, I gotta keep these guys straight on the all the time. You know you know the bag that they keep me in. Yeah. These guys are in it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they just stay in the bag. Yeah, they're in the bag yeah, constantly. Yeah, yeah. I'm bag. missing that bag too, cause I don't have any. There's nothing. There's no studio gear here. You know, you took everything with you. I know I took the solo cups and everything, and they took them. You know, I found out something too this week. You know what? Vita's not just a breakfast drink. It, they have it for lunch and dinner, too. <laughs> I didn't well, know they did that up here. It's, you know, when, when you get the family together, you got to celebrate a little bit, so that's a good thing. Yeah, we had, we had, a, we had a few. We tossed a few. We had a, a few like that. Anyway, Drew, I got to I I ask them a football question. Football, as we call it in Scotland. I should give them score. Square to the day. Wait, wait, I'm gonna change my, uh, change it. What's what's lug? Do you can what lug is there, lads? Yes. Okay, what's a lug? Yes. Your ears. Hey, look at that. See? How many, how many times did you get a skate in the lug growing up? <laughs> get your hands off me. See, give me a skate in the lug. So give me a slap is that the a real football hey, question? The time. <laughs> anyway, I got a question for you, Ivor. I got a good question for you. You ready? I mean, What's the difference between American football and Canadian football? All right, Angus, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to divert that question. To Di the, divert it. 
the connoisseur of the CFL Canadian Football League, Hamish. Hamish, okay, Hamish, what's the difference between American football and Canadian football? Uh, Canadians have bigger balls. Okay, there you go. You heard it here first. <laughs> it is true, though. The yeah. ball, Canadian football has got a bigger ball. Well, isn't, do. isn't yeah, the field bigger, isn't, and isn't the field size even different? Field's yeah. bigger. Tom Brady would have a field day up here. Yeah. Bigger balls, go. bigger field. <laughs> what else? Same number of men. More uh, men. One, one more. One more. We have twelve. Right? Yeah. yeah. One more man. What position? What position? What like another receiver? Uh, another, li another lineman. Oh, okay. That's a flanker, you silly goose. <laughs> what about what about like the the rules of play? It's downs are the same, distances, yeah. all that stuff. We only have three downs to get ten yards. Oh. Yeah. We don't get that extra try. A little more of a passing game then. Uh, pretty well, yeah. Second yeah. downs to throw all the time. I see. I see. They get, they get the, they only get three downs because they can't add up to four. They forget. <laughs> they get lost. How do you think we ended up? Uh, with like, was, that, was that two or was that three? No, we got to go to four. We'll never be able to figure this game out. Well, it, 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 I'm sorry. What? So what, what do you prefer to watch? It's uh, you know because the passing game is exciting to watch. So what do you you know when you if you're coming down watching a, American college football or you know, NFL football or Canadian football. Do they have a college league up there as well? well uh, it's, uh, yeah, we do. A uh, university more than college. Universal. But do they play by Canadian rules then? Canadian yeah. rules, yes. Yeah. I see. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Well, which do you prefer to watch? Uh, NFL. NFL. <laughs> well, but why? Is it just because of the speed of the game? Or what do, you, what, what do you think? Well, it's more exciting most of the time. I mean, after... Two tries in your punting, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So a lot of Canadian footballs, they don't, they don't actually advance the ball that often. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, lot, there's a lot of punting involved. I see. Interesting. But we don't have the uh, five-yard... We have a five-yard rule, no fair catch. Explain that. When they catch the ball on a punt... Yeah, you have after, to give them five yards. After their year, you, you have to keep five yards away from them until they catch it, and then you can kill them. <laughs> Oh, hit him. That's the five. Oh, hit him. Yes. Hit him. Five. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. So, so as soon as they catch it, you time it so you're only about five yards away, and then you just lay a severe beating on them. So there's never like a fair catch because there's no. no reason for it. I see. Yeah, if they don't have fair catch, no fair catch. Oh, oh, so you need you must catch it and run because you're oh, going to yeah. get hit one way or the other. Oh, you're oh, going to yeah. get hit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, but, but you, but didn't you, allow, they didn't allow them to have hockey sticks on the on the field. That was one thing they took that out of there. <laughs> is uh so when you watch but so just compared to pro is it the same length of time, the game? Yeah. Yeah. Four quarters? Yeah. Four quarters. And yep. so what do you, so do you think American football because when I watch American football to me it's just like down, down, down commercial. Like I just get sick of all the commercials. So do you watch them live or do you tend to watch recordings or what how do you handle that? It seems to really slow the game down for me. We watch it live. Yeah. Usually yeah. on a Sunday. Do, is, there, is there as much uh, commercial, you know, do they make a lot of revenue off of it, of Canadian football? I mean, are they, the fan bases are large and... Not no. quite as large as... <laughs> no. We're struggling. <laughs> it's a struggling league. Yeah. Oh, really? So what, what would be a typical attendance at a game if you were to go to the game? Western Canada, they will sell out the building and it's about... Forty-five to fifty thousand. Wow, well, that's not bad. Toronto, uh, you'll be lucky if you get fifteen thousand in. Oh, and so tomorrow, how many will be at the Michigan game for UH tomorrow? Well, how many will be at the Michigan game total tomorrow? A, I think that stadium holds ninety something thousand. Yeah. No, it's one hundred eight. One hundred eight thousand. Well, it'll be uh, it'll thousand. be stacked to the roof. Yeah. Yeah. How big was uh, how big was Ohio State last year when you guys were there? How big is that stadium? I was over a hundred. I think it's a hundred and three. Yeah, wow. I think it was. A, uh, it was a hundred and five. I think. Yeah. Do you guys? Yeah, I it was do you guys ever go to the, any of the live games up in, in Canada? Oh yeah. Do you? But okay. It's a, it's a little chilly in Canada. It's like Cleveland if you want to go to a football game. Wow. In order. Okay. Also, there's no indoor stadiums. No. Well, no. they did have one uh, Sky Dome where Toronto Argos played, but now they don't play there. They play in BMO Field now. 
Oh. Outdoors. Outdoors. So, Just to make, well, them eat, make it even with everybody else? Was it unfair advantage to play indoors? Yeah, well, like, they only play until what November. Yeah. So, but, but I mean, what? What? what yeah, that's a good question there. Like, why did they move them out of the stadium? Because they spent all that money building it. it it's well, a baseball stadium. Yeah. It's not a football stadium. But it was built for both. No. Yes, it was. It was. It was. <laughs> it was there. Yeah. I have petition for the permit. Yeah, I know. You got you got hit by a. You didn't care when I'm talking to Mudlot. Just listen. It was a football field, too. You know. <laughs> Silly goose. <laughs> I think they figured they'd get more people outdoors. I see. Yeah. yeah give them a couple. Give them a leg. It's just this year that they changed it to outdoors from the Sky Dome. Yeah. They're trying to bring back the uh, old flavor of the football. Yeah. Interesting. I, I, I had no idea it was such an old sport either. That's really good. I, I'm glad you guys are going down there to support UH, though. That's amazing. The, uh, oh, yeah? Did, uh, did, you, did you watch the game, the UH game last week on... Um, on ESPN, was it on? I guess what what time was that for you guys? I guess it would have been later in the in the evening. Ten o'clock in the ten yeah. o'clock evening. Oh, was. so you were already in bed? Well, they're thirteen hours. No, Hamish. Hamish was probably in bed. Yeah, he goes like he's probably in bed at eight thirty. His age. You're in bed at uh, six after uh, the discount. Senior <laughs> <laughs> dinner and meal. <laughs> they have the uh, two o'clock senior dinner meal and then they go to bed. <laughs> You must stay in the, oh yeah, that's right, you're in the, you're in the old folks home. Yeah, but Seizure World, I recall that name of it, Seizure World, that's right, I remember that. They stuck that at Seizure World. I even runs the toga parties at the Seizure World at the old folks home. He's in charge of the toga parties every Saturday. All right, well let's, have you, have you seen Michigan? Did you have to watch them yet this year? No, not, no, no not this year. Okay, well it's time for some predictions. Oh. Let's start with number four. Number four, give us what do you think the final score might be? Uh, come on, it's only a 30 minute show, so you got to hurry up. 42. <laughs> 42 to 23? Yeah. Well, that's we beat the spread with that one. For Michigan. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? 42 to 23 for Michigan. 42 23 for Michigan. Hamish, what do you think? Uh, 63, 17. <laughs> 63 for who? Michigan. For Michigan? Okay. You're not going to you guys to any enemy parties anymore, ever. That's it, you're <laughs> I Ivor, what do you think, what, what, what kind of game we're looking at? I think Hawaii, and I got on my door riding on it, I don't will beat that. the spread. <laughs> okay, very well, very well. Beat, and what, which, what is it right now? 40. 40. 40? <laughs> it's about 40, I think, but... I think they will beat that. Yeah, the team, they're going to beat the spread. Yeah, I think they will. And, uh, that. Angus, did you have a prediction for us? I sure do there, lad. In 1955, the University of Hawaii beat Nebraska. In Nebraska. They were not ranked, but Nebraska was ranked number one. Get ready. History is going to repeat itself. Final score. University of Hawaii, 21. And Michigan, 17. Mm. It's going to be the upset of the century. <laughs> that's not, it, it, it's, it's definitely a nice early season upset, so I, that's a pretty bold pick from you. So, obviously, next week on the episode, when Gordo's back, we're going to be reviewing your all's picks. We're going to be rating your picks on the real, the real outcome of the game. And uh, maybe we'll have, um, maybe you can text us uh, your winnings or losings, you know, based on your... Uh, prediction capabilities and then if you if any of you is any good at all maybe we'll let you do that as the season progresses and um <laughs> we'll kind of plot your line your betting lines against the because they have them in the newspaper here and you know they obviously obviously the the sportscasters and all the betting houses right in vegas always have their lines so we'll see how you guys do there we go hey think about it Drew, we can have the uh, vegas line and the hibachi talk line the hibachi line yeah that's one, that's one I can't really advise, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's worth a try. So do you start your hibachi with a newspaper, or do you use lighter fluid? I use coal. I'm from <laughs> Kentucky. I get these coal, and I heat them up, and I heat them up, and I heat them up, and they're ready to go in the oven. I do add a little fire, but they just, they just ignite. They almost spontaneously combust. 
That's a good question. Thank you. It's like a hibachi bomb. Yeah, it's a good question. It's like a hibachi bomb almost, but the way I'd do it. I wouldn't raise right. <laughs> so do you guys have any any final words? Yeah, final, yeah give us a, some words of wisdom. Uh, yeah, yeah, final yeah. words of wisdom. Yeah, words of wisdom. Words of, words of wisdom. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, you're you're done. That's it. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you. I am the spark one. <laughs> you are the spark one? Yeah, heaven yeah. forbid it. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you gentlemen. I really appreciate your support of UH. I really appreciate your support of Hibachi Talk. Thanks for spending some of your vacation time on the show with us today. And I really hope you enjoy the game tomorrow. And okay, I hope Angus is... And remember what we say at the end of every show. Yeah, I hope, Angus is right, I hope Angus is right about the final <laughs> score. Hey, eh? Hey? Eh? See you guys. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.